Welcome to This Week at the Capitol. I'm Bonnie Stewart, and this week we're going to give you a quick update of what's happening in the final two and a half weeks of the legislative session. The legislature ends their work on May 9th, so that means that anything that has not been taken up, passed by both House by that point, is dead. So what's left on the agenda? Quite a few things. Uh, to start with, our two big issues this week are going to be the education reform measure. That's big to us because there's a lot of misinformation out there as to what is actually in the current bill and what is being um, asked for by the business community and governor's office. Long and short of it is, we want true reform. And the bill as it came out of the Education Committee is missing three key components. So what we're asking legislature legislature to do this week is to, one, uh, restore the funding for the charter schools because those have proven to have um, outstanding outcomes in terms of educational achievement for our students. The second thing would be to link evaluations with a system that would actually enhance the skills of administrators and teachers and have consequences if we don't have the outcomes that we need in the end. And the last thing is to make sure that those schools that are failing have some process in place and a set uh, procedure for making sure that the state can assist the towns in turning around those failing schools. So those are three key components that are not in the current education bill that need to. The next hot topic is minimum wage. Something that CBIA doesn't hear from a lot of our members on normally, but right now we are because of increased taxes last year, increased unemployment taxes this year, the paid uh, sick leave that passed last year, just one after another increased costs where businesses are concerned in Connecticut. And so the minimum wage has many employers concerned right now. And so we're trying to get the word out to legislators about how we don't want to see business costs increase at all in Connecticut this year. Furthermore, the earned income tax credit was adopted by the legislature last year, intended to help many people that the uh, minimum wage supposedly is directed at. So those are two key issues. Next week we expect to see more movement on environmental issues as well as some health care proposals that are out there. So please join us and we'll give you an update as to where we stand in the final week of the legislative session. Have a nice week.